Olympic Paralympic champion, representing Australia, Louise Sauvage. Looking for Paralympic medal number eight. Sydney 2000, yeah, obviously one of the highlights of my career and my life, uh, I could say. It's a very, very special time. And away they go. I felt a lot of pressure, probably more from myself, but then the general public, I think, wanted me to win just as much as I did. Louise Savage comes out in lane three. I think it really did show what people with, with a disability can do, and it was a, a fantastic celebration. Gold medal to Australia. Savage has won. Fourteen seconds left. Twenty years have passed, but for Louise Savage, the memories are vivid. Now coaching the next generation of track superstars, she can reminisce about her key role in the Sydney Games. It was a massive secret that I was actually going to light the cauldron, and I'll never forget, you know, my, my family up in the stands. They had no clue either, so it was a big surprise for them too. So it was fantastic just to have that massive honour. In Perth, swimmer Tracy Cross, who is blind, remembers the opening ceremony. With her then guide dog Rosie, she had the daunting task of reciting the athlete's oath. Because I knew I would not be able to read the braille with my hands on the night because I'd be holding the flag, I practiced every day reading the braille because I was so nervous I was going to forget the words and I really did not want to do that standing up in front of 110,000 people. For the glory of sport and the honour of our teams. Five gold medals to Siobhan Payton and a new world record. Swimmer Siobhan Payton was the golden girl of the Games, winning the most medals of any athlete. And Payton goes in and wins. What a brilliant performance by the Australian in 32.56. New world record again. It was wonderful that I was number one. I would have been still smiling if I was number two or three. The Canberra woman lives with an intellectual disability. She was 17 years old when she won six gold medals. It was ecstatic. It was great that I did this. I just hunkered down, did my job and did the best I did on the day. Peyton still has the flowers she was presented. Sadly, a change of eligibility rules meant she and other athletes with intellectual disability were not allowed to compete at the Paralympics until London 2012. A decision that plunged her into depression, which she lives with today. I have good days, I have bad days, I have bad weeks, I can have bad months. Siobhan Payton of Australia will win the gold medal. And her... My memory of the Sydney Paralympics was here at the Aquatic Centre. I was 12 years old and an aspiring swimmer. The experience was overwhelming. As a blind child, just feeling that energy and the sound of the crowd. I look back now and I realise I witnessed a really important moment, not just for the athletes, but also for all people with disability. He's bounding out down the back straight. Tim Matthews for Australia. There's no doubt the Sydney Paralympic Games was a watershed moment for the whole movement around the world. I think for the first time, athletes were presented as athletes, first and foremost, who just happened to have a disability, and the performances reflected that. Victorian Tim Matthews is now coaching London Paralympic star Kelly Cartwright for a Tokyo comeback. Yes. At the Sydney Games, Matthews won two gold on the track. There were athletes winning who were coming from lane one or just not expected to win because everyone just got swept up in it and it was an awesome team to be a part of. If anyone can judge how special Sydney was, it's Danny Toro. Next year's Tokyo Games will be her seventh Paralympics. She now competes in table tennis. In 2000, she represented Australia in wheelchair tennis. It was like this beautiful moment where the whole country came together to celebrate everyone. There's always been a real edge to disability sport is that there is a tokenistic aspect to it. And I think the games, particularly in Sydney and London, um, show that there's real professionalism here. Yes. 
De Toro will be joined on the plane to Tokyo by Madison Di Rosario. A world record holder in the 800 metres, she has three silver Paralympic medals from Beijing and Rio. I think I'm so lucky to have someone in my corner who all of the emotions that come with racing and training and the extreme kind of successes and failures, she's experienced all of it. The biggest highlight for me now and the biggest buzz is being part of someone else's journey. Savage is going to win. It's so rewarding. I couldn't think of anything better to do.